Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, today we have a little DIY project and it's gonna be from my man cave here for the office, if you will. And uh, I've been wanting to get something like this done. Get off me. I've been wanting to do this for like three or four years, easily. And uh, if you watch my channel, you know that I like to draw sometimes and do other little things. I like to uh, read children's books and stuff like that. And I have a problem with getting my camera where I want to get it. You know the light, like a, a light that you sit on your desk and it's kind of bent like so, you know, and it moves and you can fix it, whatever. I usually fix my camera up under the light. I have a strap, kind of a, a Velcro strap actually underneath the light. Uh, the very light that we're looking at up under here and uh i just slide my gopro up under the strap and it holds it up there and that's how i do any overhead shots like that that you might see and that's very cumbersome and and it's uh, got the camera up there in direct contact with the light and plus my little lamp is back behind my monitor now so it don't really reach over here where it needs to be so what am i doing well today i'm gonna build a camera mount like a rig a little rig system it's gonna have two uh legs going out like so for stability and then uh come up like so and the camera's gonna uh hold on at the top so let's kind of take a look see uh, i got some three quarter inch pvc right here and i've got some half inch uh, if i can get it it's thicker walled though uh, some half inch PVC and this is gonna be basically where the action is gonna happen and you're gonna see what I'm gonna do I'm I kind of used my brain on this one and I'm gonna kind of make it pretty cool so let me uh, get this camera now put on a real tripod so I can get it out here and we can kind of see what's going on and uh, we're gonna kind of do this and uh, learn as we go so anyway Always doing something here, guys, and uh, always hoping to uh, try to inspire others to do little projects and do stuff as well. So let me get that tripod. Stay tuned. All right. So, and the lighting's not perfect in here. It's more bright right here where I do a lot of stuff, but I yeah, will make this work, guys. So kind of what I have planned is the legs are gonna be a little shorter in the back than they are in the front because the camera is gonna kind of be hanging off the front and that'll kind of give it a little bit more feet on the front to uh, be uh, to make it so it's not uh, top heavy or tip heavy or whatever you know so I think I'm gonna do the rear I'm gonna do the back part probably six inches Six inches is always good. Family channel, Mike. So, yeah. So, we're going to do six inches off the back here. How do you still cut it crooked whenever you're using these? That's how bad I am. <laughs> Dang it. So we'll cut another six. I'm going to use the straighter end. That's how I roll. So we'll go six here. Burn. 
There we go. It's going to be very simple. Let's take another look here. Got all my fittings here. Let's see. Hopefully I got everything I need. I probably didn't. You know you never do. Gimme. Oh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. And all this was only $10 and some change. So, a nice uh, cheap project. I got these to make some little feet. See, I'll put that crooked end in here. Like so. Hopefully they're close. Oh yeah, pretty good, pretty good. There it is. Oh yeah. Yep, that's perfect. Spot on. Now the front part, what am I doing? Let me get this. Now the front part, we're going to make a little bit longer than six inches, so it gives it a little bit more stability in the front. So, we'll go six, eight, what we got? So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We'll go We'll go 10 inches on the front. How about that? 10 inches. So 10 plus, no? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go 10. I can always trim these down if I mess up. So, I hope I got the camera in a decent enough spot. Probably don't. How y'all doing? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. All right. Sorry about that, I had a phone call. So I'm making the uprights. I'm making them 18 inches. Um, yeah, so let's get them cut. I got an idea and I hope it's gonna work out, so. So there's one 18 inch upright. And we'll do another 18 inch. Maybe. It's always difficult to try and measure these things. That's what she said. So, 18. Okay. Hey. I really hope this works because this is really going to help out. Because I've been wanting to do more art projects and stuff, but it's so difficult to film. Okay, check this out. Ow, ow, ow. You getting the idea, right? Oh, 
I said you're getting the idea, right? Oh. Just make sure they're seated in there good. All right. Now what I'm going to do is you're going to like this. I'm a genius. A genius, I tell you. I'm going to make these about... Uh, let's make them about... Because I want to make sure I got enough... Make sure I got enough uh, of this left over to make this. We'll make this about... 32 inches, maybe, maybe 32 inches, something like that. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and make my cross piece first. About 32 inches. difficult messing with this stuff. I'll rip my tape. I don't care, man. I'm ornery. Okay. So I got it marked at 32 inches. I'm probably, I'm going to cut it just a little shy of 32. I got just enough. I'm cutting it just a little shy of 32. All right. So this here is going to be the cross part. You getting it, right? Eh? All right. This part here, check this out. On my legs, so I... I have a way of adjusting the camera, its height. I got these to go in here like so. And I'm gonna put a screw, drill some holes so I can have a set. And uh, I'll be able to move the top piece up and down uh, if I need to. So I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty cool idea. I'll give myself a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a, room to play with there. So probably really don't matter. I could do a 10 inch. Uh, I'll do 10. Just because I can. Okay, so this is going to be pretty cool. Ten. There we go. Ten. Just a little bit left over for nothing. All right. So now we're looking at. Okay. <laughs> I was confused for a second. <laughs> Make sure it's seated well. And I'll probably end up painting this black or something. Okay. And we got this. Ooh, wait. Here's my rig that I'm using. I found a, uh, 
found a good use for a, like a handlebar mount, GoPro mount thing that I bought and I never use it. So, come on, come on. There we go. See, and that'll be in the middle. And that'll hold the GoPro out like so. Man, I've been wanting to do this forever. Man. You know, you have these ideas and things in your head. Sometimes years and years and years and years. And you never do stuff. You never get things taken care of. Why are we like that? You know? Why do we procrastinate? I've been needing this for years. And it's $10. And back whenever I first wanted it, it probably would have cost $5. <laughs> you know, because inflation over the past couple years. So see? And then I can even move the camera around, make it nice. sure it's set. Wow, it didn't even move. Okay. Just got to make sure it's somewhat close. You can always move it. The benefits of not gluing. So, there you go. Look at that. Right there. Right here. And I got all kind of crap on my desk, so. move my monitor a little bit. I tried to make it where I wouldn't have to, but I might have to. See? And then I'll hang the GoPro. Oh, you can't even see. Come over here with me, guys. Come on. Look here. So now we've got the GoPro that can hang off the front here and shoot straight down. I can scoot this back a hair. Um, of course, I'll have to move my monitor a smidgen. Or if I can move this over a smidgen. Probably can. Eh, probably can. So I may have to kind of move my monitors a hair. I wanted to make this wide enough so whenever I do use the camera that these are not in the picture. You know, if I made it too narrow, then when I'm taking the videos and stuff, you're going to see these legs. So, and then we got this. Of course, I'll have to move that, but um, moves up and down like so. And I'm just going to drill some holes and uh, have some little screws that'll go in. So, there you go, guys. Look at that. Simple, easy, fun uh, little projects like this. And it's going to be helpful. Man, I can't wait to use it now. I wanted to do this the other day. I wanted to draw and do something the other day. And I was like, man, I don't feel like setting up my stupid camera and trying to work with it and, and do the camera underneath here and move my light. And all. Just a hassle. This is going to work out pretty good, guys. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, project that we did. Quick and easy, $10 and uh, some change. And uh, luckily I already had this mount, so that helped out a lot. 
So anyways, guys, I hope you learned a little something. I learned a little something. And I hope I inspired you to do something uh, yourself. Projects, I hope I inspire you to work out, to do things that you enjoy, and uh, have a good positive attitude and inspire others, guys, along with inspiring yourself. Don't forget to check out the playlist. You know where you can do that at? On Mikey Sun TV. Check out the playlist, guys. You're going to find all kind of good stuff in the playlist. All kind of good stuff, including stuff like this. Okay? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to Mikey Sun TV. And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on Mikey Sun TV. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it.